every realm has a ruler every dimension has a ruler every civilization has a ruler and you all agree with me that God does not have just one civilization there are different civilizations there are different civilizations there are creatures that are invisible there are visible creatures there are dimensions or realms that are physical and some are not physical but these are tangible dimensions please that you don't see certain dimensions or creatures does not mean that they don't exist and don't let this a uh, physical deluded scientists destroy you and to confine you into some kind of optical limitation somebody said don't confine yourself on the optical illusion you are gonna break out of optical illusion and ma'am somebody said I am breaking out of optical illusion we would not depend and limit ourselves uh, okay uh, when uh, t t until scientists discover that there are demons and spirits beyond here and you are you with me sons of God all right so tonight um, we are going to look into different dimensions different realms and different creatures of God and their rulers praise the Lord and I want you to understand that this physical realm, this physical place, this, this natural civilization is subject to a certain ruler. And the Bible, in fact, the, the Bible is very clear about it. The Bible calls the devil the prince of this world. The Bible calls him the ruler of this world. The Bible calls him the God of this world. <laughs> the Bible says that the God of this world has blinded their eyes not to see not to see not to receive the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ so when you see people not believe in Jesus not believe in Christ it is not them there's a higher spirit there's a higher influence there's a higher control on them that causes them not to believe okay the first scripture I want to read to you is found in the book of first Corinthians it says for the God of this world has blinded the eyes of them that do not receive the gospel of Christ all right the God of this world has what blinded the eyes of them that refuse to accept the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ now okay I, I would rather want to read that so that we can uh, establish that point praise the Lord let's get to the book first of all let's look at um, Matthew chapter four, uh, 12 verse 24 Matthew 12 verse 24 and when the Pharisees heard it they said this fellow do it not cast do it not cast at devils but by what Beelzebub the prince of the devils Somebody said the prince of the devils. Note that point. Now let's get to the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 4, verse number 4, quickly. Let's read together, everybody. One to go. In whom the God of this world has blinded the minds of them which believe not, least. Come on, let's read like we have life in us. One to go. Come on. In whom the God of this world has blinded blinded somebody said blinded the minds the mind come on say it again of them which believe not least the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God should shine on them so it means that that your physical sight is not your real sight the real sight is the sight of the mind so whatsoever you have read captures in your mind what you have heard controls your mind you see, you see a man is not just in a position as man man is 95 percent in a disposition getting that point 
we are more of in a disposition than in a position what you hear gives you a disposition what you've known gives you a disposition now the bible says that the god of this world blinded their mind blinded their mind how through knowledge through information through mental intellectual articulations the bible says in fact the scripture says in the book of first corinthians that god will destroy the intellectual wisdom of this world he says he will bring it to naught <laughs> hallelujah because the intellectual wisdom of this world blinds the eyes the mind of the people not to believe in jesus christ so the god of this world is a blinder he blinds the minds of the people but but that's a very good point for us to know that satan rules this world satan is the ruler of the civilization and we are going to kick him out of his position yeah. and that's why we are in a warfare between the advancement of the kingdom of god versus the advancement of the secular systems hallelujah sons of god jesus says i will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail so the expansion of the kingdom of god the expansion of god's work in this civilization is the only way the kingdom of god will prevail in this world so we are not going to live here until we dominate here yeah. I, uh, I know i'm going to offend some of you with rapture theories you want to escape with rapture no the kingdom of god must prevail jesus is returning for a glorious a victorious and a triumphant ecclesia but before we 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 dominate we will definitely have to remove ourselves from church and become a nation of god and become the ecclesia of god remember we, we're not a church we are a nation we are a people Oh, hallelujah, sons of God.